Well, a maritime furniture maker has designed and constructed a unique chair that left international judges standing and applauding. The chair was the only Canadian entry to receive recognition at the competition held last month in Germany. Here's Dan McIntosh with more. Most days you'll find Jonathan Otter working diligently in his Earltown, Nova Scotia wood shop. It's something he's loved doing since childhood. When my dad had a small shop and he had, I had access to his tools and I often say we, I learned by ruining all his hand tools. Over time, Otter says he learned something else about working with wood, something that changed his way of thinking. Wood is a very sculptural material and I've been all along fooled by the fact that I was bringing it into my shop in long straight pieces but it doesn't grow that way. And I began to think of the possibilities of designing more with shapes and curves. That's when Otter began creating art in the wood shop. This rocking chair ended up on the cover of Canadian Woodworking magazine. But his masterpiece is this, called Lounge Chair Number no. 3. It took five months to make using materials like black walnut, Italian leather, a carbon fiber seat, and faux ivory. On that chair, there are, there are no straight lines. So that is a particularly difficult piece of furniture to make. The chair won the jury's Joker Prize at the Arts and Crafts Awards in Germany, besting thousands of entries from around the world. And this is an award that includes not just furniture, but art forms of all different types, excluding the visual arts like, like painting. So for me, it's an enormous boost. It just uh, it gives, it gives me um, a lot of confidence to keep going. When most of us think of chairs, it's usually in terms of comfort, cost, and appearance. Otter hopes we can see beyond that. In our general psyche, furniture is a utilitarian piece to be used day to day, and it's, it's not classed as art. I, I'm trying one piece at a time to change that. Otter says for now he'll go back to his regular job as a furniture maker, but he'll still keep some artistic ideas in his head, and when he gets the chance, he'll sit down and think about what to do with them. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Earltown, Nova Scotia.